the Squarespace Dark Mode plugin does exactly what the name says. It switches on the dark mode. So there are two main features. The first one is an automatic dark mode. So if we change the setting in my computer from light to dark, the website automatically detects this change and then switches to the dark mode in everywhere in the website. Now let's take a look, turning back to the light mode, it goes back to light. Now, this is the automatic mode. There is also a manual mode. There is a little button that the visitors can use to manually turn on the dark mode. Installing the plugin is super easy. You just choose which color theme you want to use by adding one blank section in your footer. And then you just choose what do you want your dark mode to be. I'm going to go with the dark too. Then I will add one snippet of code to the custom CSS and save. And another to the code injection. Hit save and the dark mode plugin has been now installed. Editing what your dark mode theme looks like is really easy because it uses the built-in Squarespace 7.1 color theme. So for example, if I want my links in my dark mode to be a specific color, it's as easy as going to design, site styles, colors, and then editing the dark mode theme. So I chose dark 2 as my dark mode theme. I will just edit that one. Okay, let's find text links and make them this red color. Okay, now when I hit save, the dark mode has been updated and all the links will be red. Uh, maybe I want the announcement bar to pop a little better. So again, going to site styles, colors, then editing my dark mode theme. I'm not using this one for anything else except the dark mode. Let's try to find announcement bar. Okay, maybe change the announcement bar background to white and the text to the dark one. Okay, looking good. Now this will pop a little bit better. Again, click save and now you can just design your perfect dark mode theme using the built-in Squarespace color themes without any coding. If you're using a text-based logo, the plugin will automatically switch your logo to your dark mode. And if you're using an image like I am here, this is actually an image as we can see. You can upload a secondary dark mode version of your logo. So when the dark mode is enabled, it will add and enable your dark mode inverted version of your logo. A very important feature is that when I turn on the dark mode or have it on my user preferences, when I click myself to another page, like the about page, it remembers that I have the dark mode enabled and everything stays dark. Now, often with any plugin like this, there is something called a flash of inaccurate color, which Chris uh, calls something else. And what you'll see often is this flash of white, which is really annoying. And this is actually quite difficult to fix. But as you can see, when I go to the project page, 
there is no flash of white. The plugin keeps everything dark perfectly from page to page without any flashes of white. Another important feature is that when we go to the cart page, if you're using e-commerce or in the future want to use e-commerce, the cart page also works perfectly with the dark mode plugin, including all these little details like the hover effects of the plus and minus icon. Now this also needs quite a bit of custom coding. As you can guess, if you go to the Squarespace forum and check out the card page color change questions, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, uh, at least for 14, I have written a blog post about how to change the card page colors. But the important thing is that using the dark mode plugin, the card page is also perfectly styled automatically, and you don't need to write any code to achieve that. 